Dr. Sean. It is lecture night. Hey, it's Dr. Sean with Chicken. Lecture night tonight. I love tonight's topic. Well, the truth be told, pretty much every topic I pick, I love. <laughs> and tonight's topic is about over-apologizing. Raise some hands for those over-apologizers. <laughs> and I am definitely one of those people. Um, so a couple of things are here. Let me, I see you guys are already starting to show up. Let me put on some glasses so I can see. Over apologizing, pardon me for rubbing my nose. Over apologize, and look, notice I didn't say I'm sorry, I said pardon me. That's one of the tips you're gonna get tonight. And uh, over apologizing is a habit. It's a habit, it's a communication habit that many of us fall into. And uh, like, do either of these situations sound familiar to you? Let me give you an example. You start an email to your boss with, I'm sorry to bother you, but dot, 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 dot. Or maybe you, you put papers down on the conference table. Someone sets their coffee down and then spills their coffee on your papers. <laughs> and then you're the one who apologizes as you mop it up. Can I get an amen? <laughs> when actually they knocked over the coffee, they put the coffee on there. Here you are cleaning it up and you're the one apologizing. You're with me? Okay, I see you guys are showing up. Hi, Connie, Vivian, aloha. Wonderful. Hi, Maria, Elizabeth's in the house. Hi, Kim. Hi, Elaine. Okay, so uh, maybe you've fallen into this over-apologizing trap or habit. So tonight, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to look at why we do it. I'm going to look at the conversation of recognizing it, and then new phrases that you can play with to replace the I'm sorry. And um, this is not in no way to disregard an authentic apology. We've done so many live lectures on apologizing, what that looks like, creating it heartfelt, doing activities that actually make amends. This isn't this realm. This is the realm where you say sorry all the time, okay? This doesn't account if you're Canadian, <laughs> I spent a lot of time in Canada, and um, so I'm sorry is has a different energy to it in Canada than it does in the U.S. Yep, yeah, I'm with you, Shirley. I totally get it. So this is more about your self-esteem. This is more about who you're being in the world with your own personal power, okay? I see you guys. Hi, Amanda. I see you, Katrina. Okay. Oh, no, Katrina, invest in something. I hope you're not doing weird selling on our Facebook page. We don't like that. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm with you on that, it was, that it's an Ohioan thing. I think we, they, we do it more in the South. It's saying I'm sorry for no particular reason. Okay. So, uh, all right. Let me do my usual commercials to get us rocking and rolling. rolling. And um, we're our own sponsors tonight. Usually we have a sponsor. We share Facebook pages who share us. And tonight we're our own sponsor and I want to flag you to an event that we have coming up on July 28th, which is the last Wednesday of the month. It's our first event that we're sharing through Facebook. It's a Zoom event. It is not on Facebook. It's an actual workshop. It'll last 45 minutes to an hour. It is our workshop on the apology you'll never receive. If you've never done this activity, come. It is an exclusive exquisite, exquisite tool. You will deeply connect with folks. It's, I just love this tool. It's actually what we are nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize for, which is a very cool thing, right? And, um, and here's the thing, okay? <laughs> and I'm not going to over-apologize. So we're, we've been trying many new things on Facebook. If you notice, Facebook changes things up constantly. Have you noticed that? And so, you know, we just set up a shop. Be sure to check out our store. We just did our first event through Facebook that's an actual paid event. It's $6.99, and it's kind of wonky. It's not working really great. We don't know how to fix it at this moment. Hopefully, the next one that we do, we'll have a little more facility around it, and um, we have a maximum of 100 people. Right now on Facebook, I think it says one person is registered, and we have almost 20 are already registered because folks are also going to our website to register. So with that said, I'm going to give you some links to go to our website to sign up. You can also go to the event page, the Apology Workshop, and, um, and there's a purchase button on the right 
not quite sure how we're going to get you the information yet because we're figuring it out as we go. And I told Hailey, who runs our office, if you've had the chance to meet Hailey, she's the most organized person I've ever met. She, it is driving her nuts. She's like, Dr. Sean, this is not working right. I don't know if this is going to work right. I'm like, oh, just trust the process. We will figure it out. I might go live that day several times to give folks an email, to email us, to make sure you have the Zoom credentials to get in because it will not be live on Facebook, okay? And we're gonna be, we're probably gonna be doing it the last Wednesday of each month or every other month. We haven't figured that out yet. We're just kind of building it as we go. It ain't that deep, it's okay. I will put up a link if you wanna register. Here's the one caveat. No one will be turned away because you can't pay. Seriously, no one will be turned away if you can't pay. We've already given a couple of seats away. All you have to do is email us at joy at projectforgive.com and highly in the office will get you handled, okay? So do not, let mo do not let money stop you from attending, please. And um, the only thing that would stop you from attending is when we're full. Got it? Okay? All right. I see all the hearts and the thumbs up and all that good stuff. Okay. A couple other things. Let's see. Prizes tonight. I, I do, do prizes every time I go live. I'll tell you what those prizes are at the end. And I have a method to the madness of how someone wins. Our winners are typically only in the U.S. because of shipping. You will get something shipped, okay? Um, so I'll tell you about the prizes shortly. If you're new to us, tell us your brand's making new because we'd love to welcome you. Anybody who's giving us stars, that's exquisite. We're thanking you in advance for stars because your stars help support us allowing people to come to workshops for, as a gift so they don't have to pay if they can't afford to pay, okay? Um, our store... Our store rocks. Like you can see, I got my necklace on. This is my apology necklace. The apology you'll never receive. It's sterling silver. It's gorgeous. And it also comes with the steps for the tool. The apology you'll never receive. That's exquisite. We also have forgiveness essential oil. And you guys, seriously, it is a great price. I know it feels expensive. It's 27 bucks. It includes shipping here in the U.S., free shipping. Essential oils are expensive. We did it as low cost as we possibly possibly could. We receive a very small profit margin, and we know the benefits of essential oil. And our oil, we're getting rave reviews. We Most of the people that buy it are buying doubles and triples and reordering because it really is that good. So really consider um, looking at some of our stuff. And we even have charms. We have all kinds of stuff. We have Greeting cards are coming out next. We're designing them right now. Apology cards. You ever go to like Target and you try to find a card that says, I'm sorry? It's hard to find. So we've created some really fun ones and we'll be selling those very, very soon. Hi, Kathy. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Cindy. Michelle is new too. Woohoo. Maria, thank you for the stars. Exquisite. Other thing new that you might have noticed is our articles are starting to show up on Facebook. We have worked very hard on our articles. Our articles are raw, real, and very helpful. If you get um, inspired and see one of our articles, please share it, because the more you share us, the more different, the bigger difference it makes for us. Yay, I'm so glad you love the oils, Sandra. That's awesome. Also, we have a Joy is a Habit Facebook group. Join us. I'll make sure I put up the links, like I said. One last thing before we get going on this over-apologizing is if you're part of a really progressive company that brings in amazing speakers, whether it's virtual or live, consider us. Consider sending us to your leadership development folks, your marketing folks, your employee resource groups, whomever you want to send us to, we would love to do that. It's so exciting to see large corporations like General Motors, like Corteva AgriScience, like Bosch, bring in conversations of forgiveness into the workplace because everything we do is non-religious, non-partisan. You can apply your own spiritual practices to what we do. That's what I do. And because we leave no one out, no matter what your faith is, you are welcome here. Okay. Thank you for that, Nancy, about the group. That's awesome. You guys are just lovely. Hi, Karen. Welcome. So glad your brand's banking new. Okay. Tonight, over apologizing. So three, way, three things I'm going to do. Why we do it some insights, and then some new phrases that you can practice, okay? And every piece of content that I put in will go in the, the comments at the top, so you'll be able to take a look at these, you'll be able to practice them. You can even grab one and put it as a little post-it note on your computer because habits, it's about a habit, okay? 
All right, so why do we apologize so much? Oh my goodness, there's so many pieces. Some of it could be because of our roots in childhood. Many men and women were taught to uphold the values of politeness. Women tend to apologize more. That's statistically proven in research. Um, it's socialized in our psyches that being nice equals being likable. So sometimes we apologize. Sometimes it's used as an aversion to conflict. Like you did nothing wrong, you apologize just to get it over with. Now that's not the same as being a leader in business and apologizing, even though you didn't do anything wrong, to take responsibility for what happened. Because leaders apologize for things they haven't done all the time because you're accountable for it as a leader. Make sense? Okay. Over apologizing can stem from being too hard on ourselves, you know, for things. It can also come from our self-worth, shackled to shame. Anybody else come from a shaming environment like I do? I'm an incest survivor. Excuse me, pardon me with my nose. I'm an incest survivor. I share it very openly. And my family system is deeply shame-based. So that might be one of the reasons why I do it too. And I love what Brene Brown, you guys know Brene Brown? I love her. She's so delicious. She's a researcher on vulnerability. And she always uses the example of I am bad versus I did something bad. And so that's where that shame piece is when we over apologize. And you know, another thing to consider too is what about cycles of temper tantrums? Have you ever fallen into the cycle where you throw a temper tantrum, you're a jerk to your spouse, and then you profusely apologize after? But then the dilemma is it keeps repeating over and over and over again. And that really is a form of manipulation and a sign of bullying. I've done this myself. That's one of the things me and my husband are really, really working on. How are we, we resolving conflict? And I can throw a temper tantrum. I can throw it out, throw it down with anybody. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate to that too. Oh, Grace, I'm glad you're here too. Okay, so why else? Compassion. Compassionate people. We care about people's feelings. That's why we over apologize sometimes. And we do it because we're really kind, loving people. Another reason might be that we're submissive in some of our relationships. And it could be you over-apologize with this person and never with that person. That makes sense? Depends upon the dynamics of the relationship and the communication patterns that happen there. And sometimes you do it just to be agreeable. You know, just like, okay, whatever. Another reason we over-apologize, lack of faith or belief in our own judgment. That happens too. Um, anxiety. Anxiety is another one and I have suffered and dealt with anxiety my entire life. I've been on and off medication for anxiety. I share that very openly. I think mental health is so important and I think it's really cool when people with large reaches like me or even on stages, because I'm on a lot of stages, sharing my struggles with anxiety. and. Um, it's not something to be ashamed about, so I love to talk about it so very openly. So here's a couple of things to think about, and then I'll see what kind of comments you're making before I give you some new phrases, okay? Yep, I'm with you. I'm with you, Michelle. All right, so the reason I want you to start thinking about this is because one of our biggest goals at Project Forgive is making the unconscious conscious. Making the unconscious conscious to have a more mindful life, okay? I'm doing that right now. I just joined Zoom, uh, not Zoom, Noom. Anybody else ever done Noom? Oh my gosh, I'm having a blast with this. It's an app. It's creating mindfulness around water, around what I'm really eating. I have to weigh myself every single day. Oh my gosh, that violates every belief system I've ever had about weight. And a lot of what they say, because it's based on psychology, really makes sense. I'm talking about them because I I'm, believe in their product. They are not a sponsor of us. They don't pay us to say that. I'm just saying it because I'm doing it and I'm becoming more conscious and more mindful of things to think about for myself. So with that said, with over-apologizing, two things that's really important as you start navigating this for yourself and start uncovering and unpacking it. Know your triggers. Who triggers you? I can tell you <laughs> on a dime who triggers me. My biggest trigger is my husband, okay? Certain personalities will trigger me as well. And uh, so what is the trigger? Is there a particular person or situation 
where you automatically apologize. And when you start to identify the triggers that exacerbate the over-apologizing, like start noticing the context, your mood, the time of the day. But pay attention to whether your tendency to over-apologize comes with certain co-workers. You know, maybe it's a pushy, demanding client or re impossible requests where you find yourself apologizing all the time. So that's one thing to start thinking about. New, oh, I love that you're asking. Let me just pull high. Forgive me if I mispronounced. Noom is like all the rage app for losing weight and being mindful of, it's called, about the psychology of weight. And during the pandemic, I've gained like 25 pounds. Not a ground working over here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actively seeking to mindfully get really healthy and be conscious of what I'm putting in my mouth. How much water am I drinking? What am I really eating? Because it's so easy to go unconscious in our habits. And that's the same principle that's applying to over-apologizing. The other thing to think about too is start noticing how often you're apologizing and start pausing before you apologize. Start pausing before you apologize. Because the urge is just gonna be there, it's gonna be so automatic. And you know, ask yourself, you know, did I really do something wrong here? Uh, um, do I really want people to believe that I did do something wrong here? What are, and what are you really saying when you apologize? Are you avoiding conflict? Are you being agreeable? Is it a habit? Are you doing it to make peace? Why are you apologizing? And there's no wrong answer. The answer though is about choosing it consciously. Choosing to apologize consciously rather than automatic out of your mouth. Just like, you know, when you're driving along, you go to a place that you always go to you ever dr driven along and then all of a sudden you realize you're there and you're like, oh my gosh, how did I get here? I totally spaced out. That's being unconscious. It's just automatic. And over-apologizing is one of those over, um, one of those automatic things that we do, right? Let me see what you guys are saying. Oh, thanks. Oh, great. Why? Well, I'm so glad. Okay, perfect. Anybody love that? Pausing. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, Abigail, I'm so great. Let me see if there's anybody saying something that I need to address before I give you some new habits to practice. Okay, I love new habits. Maria, I'm with you on the scale thing, and they even address it in the app. I had no, I, and I hate getting weighed. <laughs> when I go to the doctors, I don't even let them weigh me because it's gonna be different than what I weigh at home, and I just can't deal with the shame. I just don't wanna face it. And um, something's shifting with me doing this app, just so you know, okay? So I totally, totally get it. All right, now, what, what can you do moving forward? You want to make your apologies matter. It's a practice of mindfulness. It's like buying a new car or buying another car. Like let's say you decide you're going to buy, let's go with a GM Encore because GM is such a big supporter of ours. When we bought our Encore, as soon as we started looking, don't you see them everywhere? You see them everywhere on the road. You never noticed them all. They're everywhere, okay? Same thing's going to happen when you put your mind to deciding to look at apologizing and over-apologizing. You're going to start seeing it everywhere. There's nothing to effort. There's nothing to do. You might even want to put a little post-it note on your computer if you work on a computer and just write, I'm sorry, just to just make you mindful of being conscious of it because you're going to see it everywhere just like that new car. So I've got some options for you. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. And just so you know, everything I write, everything that I say is going to go in the comments so you don't even have to take notes. Sound good? Okay. Let's see. Yep, I'm with you, Abigail, and your granddaughter. I so get it. Yep, I'm with you too, Maria, on the shame. Totally get it. Struggle with weight my whole life. Can anyone else relate? Yep. Okay. So the other option for I'm sorry to bother you or I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. You may have heard this before, and it's a good reminder. Using thank you instead. So instead of saying, I'm sorry, say thank you. Like, here's an example. Instead of saying, oh, I'm so sorry for being late. What if it's, what if it's, wow, everybody, thank you so much for your patience. Now, is this a big deal in the scheme of things? No, it's not. It's more about being conscious and mindful of breaking a habit if you're over-apologizing. 
just little things like this. And so instead of saying, oh, I'm sorry, I had, you, had to have you run that errand. Oh, I'm so grateful that you did that for me. You did a huge favor for me. So shifting I'm sorry to thank you is a great technique. Also the conversation of sympathy versus empathy. Sympathy versus empathy. Um, like, let me give you an example. A lot of people know I've been dealing with a lot of grief. A lot of people that have died in my family. I'm sure many of you have struggled with this as well. We lost our dog, my daughter lost her baby, and I just got a diagnosis last week for my kitty cat, Ariel. Many of you have met her. She's got cancer. I know, I know. Um, they said she could live to up, another, up to another year. She's almost 17, and um, I love this cat, right? I love this cat. And so you would think a very sympathetic response would be, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about your kitty. That would be a great response. Another response could be, instead of saying I'm sorry, if you're being mindful of how often you say I'm sorry, could be, wow, that sounds so difficult. Wow, you've been through so much. That's the distinction between sympathy and empathy. Sympathy would be, oh, I'm sorry that's happening, versus empathy, oh, it sounds like that was that's really difficult. Wow, yeah, got it. And I'm sorry is also okay, right? and being mindful of I'm sorry. Yeah, even like Sandra just put up a little emoji with a sad person that touches me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, what about, we're back to over apologizing options. Notice too, this was a second of grief. We do lots on grief. I had a moment of grief, just present to grief. Grief is like that, it comes up in moments. Sometimes we think when we're grieving, it's gonna last for days. Oh, it feels like that. It doesn't. The real heavy grieving can last up to two and a half minutes. Research shows that. And um, it subsides, it comes in waves. So my grief has been coming in waves, okay? All right, back to over-apologizing. Thank you for the prayers, Maria, that's exquisite. An, an emotional intelligence approach. I love emotional intelligence or the science of it. So instead of saying sorry, you could say something very simply as, oh, thanks for pointing that out. Like <laughs> I can see my husband saying, I can't believe you left the soda out. I would never leave the soda out. That's more of what <laughs> he would do, okay? And uh, it could be, oh, thanks for letting me know. Oh, another way to say it too is if someone's upset and sharing something at work, it could be, hey, what else is worth knowing here? Another great thing to say. Conflict. Sometimes when we're in conflict, we'll say something like, I don't know why I got the hiccups and stuff. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hiccups, whatever. Okay. So in conflict, you might say, I'm sorry, but I don't agree. Okay. That's one thing, right? Could be you don't agree. You could say something like, oh, let's look at that another way. Can I offer another perspective? Hmm, that's an interesting way to put it, right? Notice too, there are people that are popping up, and this is one of the reasons why we um, we want to get on Zoom too, is people are doing the weird spamming, scamming, trying to get you to engage with them. They're, it's pretty obvious. Some people don't know that it's pretty obvious. It's happening right now. I just want to look at it right now. Um, people are just saying things that came across you, you know, let's be friends pay no attention to them, even ignore them. We spend a lot of time <laughs> deleting those on our Facebook page because we get a lot of them. Okay, so conflict. Instead of, I'm sorry, I don't agree, you know, let's look at this from another way. Is there another way we can approach this? That's a great response rather than I'm sorry. Um, sometimes we do things out of politeness. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? A simple excuse me or pardon me, would you repeat that? that has just as much value and impact as I'm sorry. Now, for some of you listening, it might sound really nitpicky. I'm not trying to be nitpicky at all. I'm just trying to show there's other options besides I'm sorry if it's one of those things that you do where you over apologize, just to be more mindful, okay? Another response with um, someone that says something and they're like waiting for you to apologize, because you've trained people to apo that you apologize a lot. You could simply say something like, Oh, I understand. My husband says, oh, you left the soda out. Soda out. 
on the fr you know, it needs to go in the fridge. Hey, I understand. Okay. Whenever I do those little phrases of I understand or tell me more, I love tell me more. That's my favorite one that I will say it two times because it's my last one that I'm use. My husband will say to me, oh, you're practicing mindfulness or you're, you know, trying new things because whenever I say tell me more, it's a very, very conscious choice, right? It's a very conscious choice. You know what, Bonnie? You are spot on. And the reason and the impact of our apologizing is that it does lose its punch when you're being genuinely authentic and you authentically need to apologize. You're spot on. Brilliance, Miss Bonnie. Yep, that's your perspective. Pull high, that's a great way, as long as you're saying it with compassion and kindness, because you can, there's a couple ways you can say that. Well, that's your perspective. <laughs> I can go there in a minute. Can you? And it might be, yep, that's your perspective. I appreciate you telling me. That's a very different energy than that to your perspective. So I'm with you on that one. Make sense? Yeah, I'm glad, Maria. That's great. Yep, you're right, Kat. And said, I'm sorry I'm late. Thank you so much for waiting for me. I appreciate you waiting for me. I feel so loved. Add some extra oogly googly stuff if you want to. Oh, I'm so glad, Cindy. Let's see if anybody's saying something I gotta... Aw, Michael, I love you. You're so awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. Yes, compassion is truly listening. You're spot on. Okay. Another one. <laughs> um, I am a huge fan of humor. <laughs> so when something happens, especially with grandkids, and they're very intense and dramatic, I'll say something really funny and I'll say, well, that didn't go as planned, did it? And then we'll laugh our butts off. So you can use humor in this way as long as it's in, in a, the context of bringing you together rather than pushing you apart. You know what your intentions are. And um, that didn't go as planned works really, really great. Um, another couple of things, too, that you could say, you know, blah, 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 work, you didn't do get this done on the project, blah, blah. Could you say a little bit more about that for me, especially exactly what you're needing? Or, you know, help me understand this better. Maybe by using an example, those are great ones to use at work instead of apologizing at work all the time. And then I put here my personal fave is tell me more. That is hands down my favorite phrase. It works in a pinch for pretty much anything. Tell me more. And Vicki, I'm wondering if you're asking how do you turn off um, the over apologizing? It's you can't fix this. And the reason I say you can't fix this is because we are all already perfect. I really believe that. And there's nothing to fix. We're exquisitely imperfect humans. And it's about raising consciousness, about being more mindful of what's going on, what we're saying, what's coming out of our mouths. So it's really a practice of noticing, which is what I love, is this game of noticing. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> Humor is the best medicine, Rini. I'm so with you. Yep. Perfect. So as soon as this class is over, I'll put all the information up. I'm getting ready to give away some prizes, okay? I got some prizes to give away. As I'm gathering here, because I got them right here on my desk, um, just so you know, next week we're gonna do the psychology of blame, like how to get out of that trap of blame. Um, I can go there so easy. So we're gonna do blame next week. Just so you know, too, I've been listing um, a document of topics that are coming up for our weekly lecture series. series. I've got topics like forgiving too fast, Dumping perfect when it comes to forgiveness, being enough, solid family boundaries is another topic that's coming up, um, giving up oversharing. You ever overshared? <laughs> when is it appropriate to share or not share? And what's going on for you that you're oversharing? I also have some disagreement with power. How can you disagree with power? Um, another one is it's easier to get mad than have a real conversation. So uh, lots coming up down the pike. And of course, our apology workshop happens July 28th. Would love to have you come attend. I'll put those links up on there. It's our first paid um, workshop, $6.99. Remember, if you can't, if you don't have the money, email us, joy at projectforgive.com, and we'll get you handled, okay? It's not that deep. It's really not. Money cannot be an option to stopping you 
from coming to one of our workshops. It's just not an option for us. It's our integrity, it's part of our mission, and it's simply who we are, okay? All right, perfect. Um, also too, any lectures that you wanna see or topics you really wanna see, message me here. I, I pretty much read everything, just, you know, we get a lot of messages. Sometimes they go a little bit faster than I normally would, but got it, okay? All right, so tonight's winner is going to receive, we still sell our masks because in many instances, you still have to have a mask, whether it's on an airplane, places of business still require a mask. Um, I'm personally vaccinated and I sometimes choose to wear a mask depending on where I'm at because of the children. I have grandchildren that are not vaccinated. And, um, and at the same breath, if you chose not to vaccinate, mm, I honor your choice. Um, it's just my personal choice. And um, so you get a couple of masks. You get the black one and the white one. Going to put in Stop Pain. They've been one of our sponsors for quite a few of our things, quite a few of our events. And this one is for, here, I'll show you. You're going to get this packet along with an actual bottle. Um, it's for pain relief. The stuff is exquisite. So someone's about to win this. It's gonna happen here in the US. You have to be in the US to win. And I'll tell you how we'll get your address and all that as soon as we're done. You know, I'm also thinking to add something. I do, um, in business, I do a yearly boot camp. It's called High Pressure Communication Boot Camp. And the winner tonight is also gonna get a ticket to boot camp. It's virtual. So it would be in a Zoom. Um, my, my classes sell out. It's very, business focused, like how to deal with high pressure in business, and um, the class is a hoot. So if that's something you you can look at the information, if you wanna come, you're welcome to come. It's a GM sponsored seat, GM is a big sponsor of ours, and we do a lot of forgiveness in this high pressure. And uh, it's kinda neat to see it in the realm of the workplace and in corporations. So it's very, very, very funny. Um, yes, Pohai, I will send to Hawaii, they, all 50 United States, okay? All right, so here's how you win. Let's do, I'm gonna tell you something to put in the comments, and let's say number nine is the winner tonight. So the ninth one that puts in what I tell you to put in, and I'll count them down, is gonna be the winner. It's not scientific. It's gonna look different on your feed. I'm so sorry, I'm just gonna go by, look at me, oh, I'm gonna not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled to give away presents and prizes. That's one of the things I love to do. Um, gifts are a love language of mine, so it's really fun to give gifts. So I want, how about a thumbs up? The a ninth thumbs up gets these prizes tonight. The mass, the stop pain, uh, and boot camp. Number nine, thumbs up. So as soon as you start seeing them, and they gotta go in the comments, a thumbs up in the comments. U.S. You, it's U.S. based only. I apologize. No, it's U.S. based only for a reason. Yeah. Yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. And just so you know, too, there's one. Sarah's number one. Sandra, thank you for the stars. Pamela's number two. Barb is number three. Barb is number three. We're getting to number nine is the winner tonight. Nadine is number four. Deborah's number five. Sandra, thank you for the stars. Thank you so much. Six is Nancy Peters. We're almost there. Sarah is number seven. <laughs> Eight is Katie. Next person's our winner. Bonnie Banks, it's you, baby. <laughs> awesome. Bonnie, it's you. All you gotta do, I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head if you've won before, just make sure you message us here um, right on Facebook, me and Hailey are the only ones that see it. Send us your email so we can give you tracking and also your mailing address, and we'll get that out to you, okay? If you find this broadcast helpful, please share. Please share anything you share of ours makes a difference for us because how we equate our success is by our reach with our corporate sponsors. The corporations deeply support us, which is just mind-blowing to me sometimes that corporations really care about the conversation of forgiveness and communication and high pressure, and GM is definitely one of those companies. Um, they were the first one to step in, so I love General Motors. If you're considering a GM product, do it. They're just exquisite people. Um, that's it, okay, next week.
We're going to talk about blame, the psychology of blame and how to get out of that trap and to start noticing where you're unconscious around blame. Okay. All right. Big love. Congrats, Bonnie. I'll get these notes typed up here and get them here on the live in just a couple of minutes. And I love that people are congratulating you, Bonnie. Yep. All right. Big love, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah!